To operate, air brake systems require a supply of air pressure. It's produced in what is known as the pressure generation section of the system and forms the power source for the vehicle's entire air circuits. The pressure generation circuit provides a working pressure of around 10 to 12 bars, a means of temporarily storing air pressure, and a method of distributing it to a variety of circuits. Here you can find out which components make up the pressure generation circuit and discover their approximate location on the vehicle. Bear in mind, however, that this will vary according to vehicle type and model. In this course, we're mainly describing the system of a 4x2 Actros with a traditional air brake system and ABS. In broad terms, there are six key elements to the pressure generation circuit. The task of the piston type compressor is to take in atmospheric air and increase its pressure to a level sufficient to operate the air brake system. It's mechanically driven by the engine, usually by gears. As you might expect, there are various types of compressors, including one, two and three cylinder versions, as well as those with air pressure regulation known as APR. APR compressors incorporate a special valve in their cylinder head that opens when the operating pressure is reached. With the valve open, the unit operates with reduced compression, which contributes to reducing fuel consumption. From the compressor, air pressure reaches the combined pressure regulator and dryer unit. The regulator sets the maximum level of pressure in the system, and the dryer removes moisture from the air. It's essential moisture is removed because any water in the pipelines or components could cause corrosion or freeze in winter, leading to a blockage and potential brake failure. An integrated electric heater prevents freezing of the regulator valve at low temperatures. It's important that the dryer cartridge is replaced at the Mercedes-Benz recommended intervals. From the pressure regulator, air reaches the multi-circuit protection valve. It's directly attached to the pressure regulator and air dryer assembly. One of its tasks is to act as a distribution point, directing air to a number of separate circuits. Generally, these supply systems such as service brake, parking brake, trailer, clutch and gear shift circuits and other auxiliary systems. The multi-circuit protection valve incorporates air pressure limiting valves and overflow valves with limited return. The limiting valves control the maximum pressure in the different air circuits, while the overflow valves protect the vehicle from a total loss of air pressure should a leak in one or more circuits develop. The components of the air brake system are connected by pipes, which in the majority are plastic. This material is chosen for its flexibility, lightness and non-corrosive qualities. Any pipes which show signs of damage should always be replaced. The task of the storage tanks, connected to the multi-circuit protection valve by pipes, is to provide a reservoir of air for the different circuits. This ensures there's sufficient pressure to operate the brakes a number of times after the engine is switched off. In addition, the tanks act as a damper to reduce sudden fluctuations in pressure as circuits are operated. Damaged tanks, either due to corrosion or from being dented, must always be replaced.
To warn of low pressure in the brake circuits, the instrument panel is equipped with either one or two pressure gauges, warning lamps and a text display, depending upon the model and specification. In this example from an Actros, there's just one pressure gauge, but with two warning lamps. The left-hand lamp warns of low pressure in circuit one, which supplies the rear brakes. And the right-hand lamp is for circuit two, which supplies the front brakes. The gauge displays the pressure in the storage tanks of circuit one or two, depending on which is the lowest pressure. In some vehicles, two separate gauges are fitted, one for each circuit. The minimum pressure necessary for safe operation of the vehicle varies according to the model, but generally it's around 10 bar. The switches and sensor that control the lamps and gauges are generally found on the multi-circuit protection valve. Having learnt about the tasks of the pressure generation components, you can now view examples of what they look like on the vehicle. Click on the boxes to call up a picture of the component in situation.